Good day friends, in today's episode we will deal with history and one of the most famous dogs in the Second World War. If you love history and dogs, stay tuned to find out how this pooch became the most famous dog of the World War II. Our story begins in an abandoned foxhole in the New Guinea jungle. Smokey was found by an American soldier. She did not understand commands in Japanese or English. Soldiers sold Smokey to Corporal William Wynne from Cleveland, in poker game, for two Australian pounds, equal to $6.44, at that time. For the next two years, Smokey backpacked through the rest of the war, and accompanied Wynne on combat flights in the Pacific. They were inseparable friends, they shared a tent and military rations. On flights, Smokey spent long hours dangling in a soldier's pack near machine guns. She was credited with 12 combat missions and awarded 8 battle stars. She survived 150 air raids on New Guinea, and made it through a typhoon at Okinawa. Smokey even parachuted from 30 feet, 9.1 meters, in the air, out of a tree, using a parachute made just for her. Wynne credited Smokey with saving his life by warning him of incoming shells. In the downtime, Smokey learned numerous tricks, which she performed for the entertainment of troops with special services, and in hospitals from Australia to Korea. Unlike the official war dogs of World War II, Smokey had access to neither veterinary medicine nor a balanced diet formulated especially for dogs. In the Luzon campaign, the Signal Corps needed to run a telegraph wire through a 70-foot-long pipe, or 21 meters, that was 8 inches, or 200 millimeters in diameter. It was a task that only the brave little Smokey could perform. What would have been a dangerous three-day digging task to place the wire was instead completed in minutes. That's how she saved about 250 ground crew members, who wouldn't be able to do it from the danger of constant heavy bombardment. When they arrived home from the war, Smokey was famous. Smokey soon became a national sensation. Over the next 10 years, Smokey traveled to Hollywood and all over the world to perform demonstrations of her remarkable skills. Smokey appeared on some of the earliest TV shows. Smokey and Wynne were also very popular entertainers at the veterans' hospitals. She was the first recorded therapy dog. After many years of a nice and fulfilling life, Smokey died. She was about 14 years old. Nearly 50 years later, on Veterans Day, November 11, 2005, a bronze life-size sculpture was made in her honor. And it was placed above the very spot that Smokey was laid at her final resting place. She weighed only 4 pounds or 1.8 kilograms and stood 7 inches or 180 millimeters tall. But with her big dog heart, she proved her love for her owner and did many important and brave deeds and helped many people. And with that, she deserved love and respect. Sometimes, we wonder, in which direction this crazy world would go, if there were no wonderful dogs. We can't make this video without mentioning the brave dog Stubby, the hero of World War I, so if you're into that, watch our video about him on our channel. We also advise you to watch the animated film about him from 2018, because, it is great. This video is of course not sponsored by anything, we just like the movie a lot, and we love a brave little dog Stubby. We think that all of you, who are watching this, would, like it too. Check it out, and tell us what you think about the movie in comments. That would be all for today's lesson, join us in the next episode, and don't forget to subscribe and like. Also ring that bell, so you don't miss the next class. Stay safe and happy. And don't forget, love and respect all your pets, and enjoy the time you are given to spend together.